So why does a sense of disagreement always comes first? And if it has become a tendency of mind, then why this process is also choice based? Why do I tend to disagree with whatever comes? Is that what you are asking? Yes, sir. and this process is also choice based. In what sense? Means I'd like to follow someone, but I'll always like to disagree with them. We have ready-made choices for that. It's not that you really disagree. Had disagreement been your nature, <coughs> you would have disagreed with disagreement also. You would have resisted resistance also. But you don't do that, right? You agree with your disagreement. And you agree with a lot of other things as well. The world overpowers us in a thousand ways and don't we agree to that? You go to the markets and the markets attract you. And that's a kind of an attack, an invasion. And don't you agree to that? Do you just say that this is an invasion upon my being and I cannot allow it to happen. I cannot enter the shopping mall. Do you say that? And the shopping mall is attacking you in a thousand ways. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? All that glitter and all those sounds and all those smells, they are an attack. And every shopkeeper knows how to attack. His business depends upon attacking you and dominating you. And the more he can make a slave out of you, the more he will sell. Even your roadside street food vendor he too knows how to attack you. When you pass by, what does he do? He creates that sound. Tun, 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 tun. And he's attacking. And he'll put some oil on his pan so that the smell reaches your... And he'll say, I want to eat. You won't even realize that you have been attacked. And you agree to all that, right? It's not that you disagree. You agree to everything that makes you a slave. There is hardly any resistance and hardly any rebellion. Your neighbor, you, you're listening attentively and your neighbor just strokes you. And you look at your neighbor and he says something. He has disturbed you and you have agreed to be disturbed, right? Does that not happen? Do you just turn around and say that, how dare you disturb my peace? That doesn't happen. We agree. We agree to be disturbed. We agree to be enslaved. We agree to be conditioned. This agreement is actually not ours. This agreement is just a property of being asleep. Whosoever is asleep will agree to whatever is happening with him. When you are asleep, somebody can come and paint your face with mud. What can you do? You will have to agree to it if it can be called agreement. You are allowing it to happen, right? In the sense that you cannot resist it. When you don't know what is happening, then anything can happen and you will be alright with it. We agree with all the rubbish. Then what is it that we disagree with? The man who agrees to enslavement will disagree to freedom. It's obvious. When I'm agreeing to remain a slave, how can I parallelly agree to freedom? Have you heard the story of that bird that wanted freedom? 
So there was this bird in a cage and it was continuously chirping freedom, freedom, freedom like a chant, like a mantra. And a young man passes by, really young and rebellious. And he says, the bird wants to fly, the bird wants freedom. And I must help the bird. So he opens the door of the cage. So that the bird may just fly out. To his surprise, the bird doesn't fly out. He waits. The bird still does not come out. But the bird is incessantly saying, Freedom, freedom, freedom. Now the young man is a young man. He puts his hand inside. And he says, I'll give you freedom. I want to pull you outside. Now he is in for a shock. The bird bites his fingers. The bird hurts his hand. The hand starts bleeding. But the young man is determined. After all, he's a young man. He says, whatever may be, you'll have to come out. So with a bleeding hand, he brings the bird out and he releases the bird and the bird somehow flaps its wings and flies away. The young man is happy. He says, yes, freedom is our nature and he goes away. He returns after a while and what does he find? The door of the cage is open. The bird is comfortably sitting inside. The bird is eating all the fruits and vegetables that the master has given it and chanting freedom, freedom, freedom. We deeply disagree with freedom. We may keep saying we want it, but we agree only with the cage. Why do we agree to the cage? Because the cage gives us fruits and vegetables. Freedom means no more fruits and vegetables. Freedom means now you are on your own. Go fend for yourself. And eagles and vultures can attack upon you. The open sky. So cage is alright. It's a cage but at least my master is giving me some food to eat. You disagree with freedom. You agree with the cage. You have to ask yourself, am I alright with this? And only you can ask this. I can only prompt you. You have to ask yourself, am I alright with all this? You will have to agree with freedom because freedom really is your nature. You will never feel at ease without freedom, without flight, without realization and intelligence. You will never feel at ease. Never, never.